welcome back to Deep South Bayou Diesel. I am working on my drive shaft here. I noticed that my boot's missing, so I'm going to have to figure out what I can do about that. Um, must have been like that since I've gotten it. But I wanted to show you guys something. I noticed, remember I told you I had a really bad vibration? Let's see here. You see how that moves? I'm barely putting any pressure on the on the shaft right here. I'm just pushing up in an upward motion. And that whole thing is shaking. So just imagine when it's rotating, as it builds up momentum, that thing's probably just under here violently rotating. Um, now, for those that have seen, uh, that haven't seen my previous video, this is a two-wheel drive. F350 with the 7.3. Uh, this has been a project truck. Uh, there was a lot wrong with it. And I'm slowly whittling down the issues that this truck has. Um, with that being said, this is a long bed. So it's an 8 foot bed. Um, you've got two 15 millimeter uh, bolts right here that hold the carrier bearing up. And then, oh boy. Over here, you have four eight millimeters that sit on these caps. So these caps come off. So you take off that one and that one, and then the cap comes off. And then you do the same over here, if I can get on it. It's really tight on this side. There we go. So you've got one there. And, of course, that uh, socket on there. So, once you do that, um, this drive shaft should drop. And then, of course, you take off those two 15 millimeters. And then that comes off. Now, also, I wanted to help out. And I'm always trying to help out as best I can. Now, my last video, I changed out my shocks. And I can tell you right now, these things have made a world of difference. And of course, here's the other side um, of the uh, shock mounts, the lower shock mounts I was telling you about. So here's the bracket. You take off those nuts, those U-bolts come out, and that bracket drops down after you take that out. But this video, being about the drive shaft, if you look right here. So I'm on the driver's side, and if you come... On the driver's side, here's your fuel tank right here. That's why this is such a tight space right here. You see that uh, electrical connector right there? That's your VSS, your vehicle speed sensor. So if your speedometer is not working, come back here. It's a 10 millimeter bolt right there. You take that bolt off, unplug this. Well, unplug that first and then unbolt this. And that whole thing comes up. Be sure to clean all of this before taking that off, though. You don't want to get nasty dirt and debris down into your uh, differential. But if you have issues with your uh, vehicle speed or your speedometer, change that out and also uh, inspect the wiring. So anyway, back to what the video is actually about. I'm going to do this first. Uh, if I can get over here. All right, so just to save you guys the um, pain of watching me fight with this, I did loosen these up prior to filming. So I'm just going to zip this off. Okay, set that over there and then get the second one. Now I'm not going to pull that all the way out. Um, as a matter of fact... I may go ahead and put the other one back in just a few threads just to hold it. I'm I'm gonna go back here and go ahead and drop the back. That way the whole thing doesn't fall on me. I just thought of that. Uh, let's see if that is a good spot for you guys. I don't know if that's dead on or not. I really need to get a, a better setup. There you go. Especially if I'm going to be filming quite often. But as you can see, I just got it in a few threads. 
on both sides just to hold it so it doesn't fall on my dome while I'm trying to pull this off. So now we're going to come back here. Uh, okay. Whew. This is a really tight spot, but I'm going to start. I don't want to put you guys upside down. All right, so I'm going to start with this one right here. I should have gotten a impact for this, but these are a little dinky eight millimeters, eight millimeter uh, bolts. They are not the end of the world. Um, okay, I got that part. I'm just trying to take off the top and then take off the bottom. Now I did see a couple of YouTube videos of those working on their Super Duty. Some were 6.7s, uh, some were the 6.0s, and, and some were the 5.4 liters, and some were the um, 6.8, I think, is the V10. Or 6.2 liter. 6.2 or 6.8, I, I don't know. I don't keep up with the gas burner Super Duties. Um, but yeah, come on. Um, I haven't seen a two-wheel drive, um, differential being worked on, or drive shaft and carrier bearing. Um, I've seen plenty of the comments where people are like, well, why would you even get a two-wheel drive diesel truck and blah, blah, blah. Well, first off, I don't go mudding, so that's one reason I don't need a, um, a four-wheel drive and as far as helping someone get unstuck I've been able to do just that with this heavy truck so I mean if you know how to drive um, you don't need four-wheel drive um, it just depends on what you need uh, your truck to do and so you know, I don't go through mud bogs or, you know, anything of that nature. And sometimes our roads do get a little washed out back here. But, um, there we go. That's why I love this, uh, the fact that this uh, swivel neck ratchet, it's a half or quarter inch drive swivel headed ratchet. Uh, from Duralast, I believe. I bought it from AutoZone years ago. Yeah, it's a Duralast. But anyway, what I was saying is I don't go through mud bogs or anything like that. And sometimes our roads do get washed out. Um, but, I mean, I had a Mustang. A 2003 Mustang GT with the 5 speed. And I had that thing for years. And, I, you know, as long as you don't go flying through the washed out roads like a maniac you're fine again that's here um i'm having trouble with this no i did not put it in neutral um and no i did not chalk the tires let me explain to you why i do advise you to chalk your tires if you're doing this at home the reason why i did not my truck is actually sitting in a groove Okay, I've backed out and pulled forward in this spot so many times. It's literally sitting in a groove, so it takes a lot of momentum to push this truck forward or backwards by hand. But anyway, um, I didn't know it was going to take me 10 minutes just to do this. It's probably because I'm jaw jacking. But, uh, there we go. I mean, it's literally that simple. I'm getting this last one off. The cap will come off. And then I can set this down. And then I should be able to um, take the carrier bearing off. Yep, there's that cap starting to come loose. Let me see if I can reach up here on the other side. Just make sure I rotate it the right way. I am not right-handed. <sighs> Let's see if I can take this socket off of here. Hang on. I really need to get us like a tripod or something. But yeah, like I said, um, come on. This is just a really awkward position. 
I'm glad I saved you guys the pain of watching me try and take the uh, carrier bearing bolts off because they were actually a quite difficult task but it once I got them loose you know like I said that's when I decided to film because I mean right now I'm 10 minutes in or well, had I filmed the difficulty of me trying to loosen up those um, carrier bearing bolts this could have easily been a 30 or 40 minute video let's see if I can come at it this way now I've completely wrapped myself around this drive shaft and I'm up at the top now so it's all about positioning there we go all right both the caps are off this uh, should be tapped off um, but I'm gonna wait to drop that <clears throat> under it. Oh man. <sighs> Alright, so as you can see, here are the caps. Let me try and put these together so I don't lose them. That's the only thing that sucks about working on uh, gravel and not having a. Um, concrete driveway is some of this stuff will blend in with the ground you're looking at the rocks and you're like is that a rock or is that a um a washer or is that a nut or what is that but yeah so as you can see those are the two caps and i'm glad i didn't drop this yet i need to mark this I almost made a big mistake by not marking this before letting it down. So let me go ahead. I, I'm going to end this video. <sighs> and then I'll start up a part two. But uh, do not let this down without marking it. I'm glad that you... Act Sometimes these get so stubborn you got to uh, tap them with a rubber mallet or um, uh, what are they called? Dead blow hammer to knock it down. But yeah, mark your uh, one of these sides before letting it down i almost made a rookie mistake but anyway thanks for watching guys later gators all right guys i'm back all right so it's starting to rain so i gotta make this quick this is what i used to mark certain things that's the shade of yellow it is uh, you get it at Walmart in the uh, arts and crafts section. Seems to work great for me. I'll show you where I'm marked. So, I mean, it's not that great on here. But, like, you can see the mark. That lines up with that mark. And then I did the same here. And up there. So now I'm about to drop this thing. And I am going to need two hands, so I'm just making this video uh, just to show you guys, just to, as a reference or something. But yeah, um, just take it slow, take it easy. And now that I look at this, if you guys pay really close attention, that um, <laughs> carrier bearing came completely out of that... Um, uh, whatever you call it, the housing or the bracket yeah the bracket but I think that happened when I dropped it uh, so when I took the uh, that bolt out and the whole thing just slumped down like that I think that's when it just came completely out so makes it easier on me because I have a uh, carrier bearing puller and I will make a video on that what kind of puller I have where I got it from I got it off eBay uh, I will make a video on it. Now, I don't know if I'll get to it today. Like I said, it is raining. Uh, luckily, we don't have to go anywhere uh, for the rest of the day. But if we had to, we we have another vehicle, so it, it's fine. But, yeah, let me go ahead and get to this before the bottom falls out. And if I'm able to, I'll make a video of uh, me pulling the bearing off with the bearing puller. Uh, it was only like a 60 $65 for the puller. Not a bad price, but anyway, 
Uh, stay tuned for the next video. Later, Gators.